In this equation, we have potassium phosphate plus calcium nitrate, and this is a double displacement reaction. The calcium and the potassium, they're going to switch places. When we have these double displacement reactions, there's a little trick we can use to help us balance the equation. If we have a polyatomic ion like phosphate here, the PO4, and we have it here, we can just count it as one thing. Same for nitrate. We have a nitrate here and then a nitrate here. We can just write NO3 and use that to balance the equation. Let's see how this works. Three potassium atoms, one nitrate times two, so we have two of those, one calcium, and the one phosphate. On the product side, we have one potassium, one nitrate, three calciums, and then one phosphate times two, so two of those. And you can see this is really kind of neat, very organized. So let's start by balancing the potassiums. If we put a coefficient of three in front of the KNO3, the potassium nitrate, one times three, that'll give us three. We balance the potassiums, and then one nitrate times three that'll give us three nitrates. The nitrates look a little difficult to balance here. Let's take and try to figure out the calciums. What if we put a three in front of the calcium nitrate? That would mean one times three, that would give us three calciums. Those would be balanced. And then the nitrates, we have one times two. So that's gonna be two times three. That'll mean we have six. We'll try to fix the nitrates in a minute. Let's try to do the phosphate, see if that changes anything. We'll have to put a 2 here in front of the K3PO4. So we have 3 times 2. That gives us 6 of those. And then 1 times the 2. That'll give us 2 of those. So we fixed the phosphates, but now both the potassium and the nitrate, they're not balanced. So let's get rid of this 3 here and redo these numbers. So we're back to where we have 1 potassium and 1 nitrate. Now, if we put a six as our coefficient, one times six, that would balance the potassiums, and the nitrates, one of these times six, give us six of those, and now we're done. This equation is balanced. You can see that it makes it a lot neater and saves time to count these polyatomic ions as one thing if they appear on both sides of the equation. It'll give you the same answer either way. This is just a little quicker. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for K3PO4 plus CaNO32. Thanks for watching.